Hey, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we're going to throw the transfer case back in my Evo, so come along. Yeah, so if you guys watched the video uh, a couple weeks ago now, we put the, uh, we took the transfer case out of this to replace some seals. Kind of got a little sidetracked with some other stuff, but it's actually ready to go back in now. We got a little ratchet strap set up. I'm really wanting to drive this car. Springs right around the corner for us. <laughs> we're supposed to get a bunch of snow tomorrow, or not tomorrow, Friday? Friday. Either way, we'll see. So... At least it'll be ready. Plus, I got to get this car off the lift because I have a buddy bringing up a car for an exhaust here soon. It's a Lotus. So if you guys are looking forward to seeing that video, make sure Ooh. you come along. But, uh, yeah, I don't really know what else to say here besides we got to get this in. Jason's going to be mostly working on this one again today because I'm still, I'm just wiring. Just, that's, that's what I'm going to do for the rest of this year, probably. You ready, Jason? Yeah, we're going to put this little guy in. Yes. Okay. Uh, so we'll get you guys all set up here and uh, watch a struggle bus getting this in. No. No way. It's going to pop right in. What? No way. What? No way. <laughs> ah. Okay. Let's slide that over. Okay, this part's got to go up over. Oh, shoot. I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> Jason? Yeah. Okay, so. Get all that over there, too. Which way are you going? Okay, hold it. I'm gonna. Huh? I'm gonna see if we can get a little bit more out of this here. Okay. I got a hold of it. Okay. Holding on to that shaft. Oh, it's. <laughs> We've, we've reached the capacity of our... Oh. No, that's the wrong way, Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> okay, um, you know what? Ready? I guess. So right now you're kind of getting stuck on the, the engine here. Okay, like the last time. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, okay, it's... You gotta come out with it. You're hitting the... The stub shaft is hitting me. Okay. Oh, there we go. That's okay. Now just hold on. Yeah. I got the stub shaft. Okay. Well, it just went right in. Just went right in. <laughs> it actually did. <laughs> okay, the seal is still on there. Good. Okay. Okay. Plus. So now I'm probably gonna have to get this to come down so we can, cause like right now it's tilted. Mm -hmm. Does that make any sense? So you're gonna have to get it on the, the, the splines and then pushed in. Okay. Oh, there you go. Okay, hold on, hold on. Tip, push in a little bit, a little more. There we go. So I would get, one on the bottom and one on the top, like kitty corner. Okay. And kind of work them in together. Okay. You know what I mean? That yeah. way it can be tight. Sure. The sucky part about this, so this is the first time I've ever done a project like this. So, remembering where everything goes back in. Oh, there it is, I can see it now. It can be a pain. And it's, I don't remember how difficult it is to get a few of these. Yeah, I don't know if Jeff showed it or not, but he, <clears throat> he did get the new knock sensor put in. And uh, the old one was actually frayed. So there's that. That's exciting. So that would definitely explain why he was getting a knock when he was trying to tune it. So what I found has been interesting in doing, working on the cars like this with Jeff, is we started doing projects on Wednesday, Wednesday nights, just working 
you know, a couple hours on a Wednesday night. It's like, hey man, let's just get out and do something. And actually, it was pretty cool because <clears throat> it started to turn into just kind of doing a couple things here and there. We actually started turning out projects. You know, getting things done. I don't know if you watched, if you've watched any of Jeff's videos, which hopefully you have. We worked on that 50 Ford. That was a fun project. That kind of was one that Jeff had shelved for quite a while and then started working on again. <clears throat> well, that was a couple hour a night deal and then Jeff ended up putting in a couple Saturdays and lo and behold, it turned into a running driving car, which is pretty stinking cool. I guess it's, you know, dream or whatever. You take it from thinking about doing it and getting the parts together and then just plugging away at it and before you know it, you're done. It's running and driving. So, if you're thinking of doing a project, just get after it, man. Just gotta put in the effort. ideas on how I can I can lift it up but it wants to push it back that way and then it so can you see the hole there so when I pick up on it this it pushes it back it's gonna go straight up yeah doing the same thing oh Got it right there. Wait a little. It's in. Thank you. Just needed two more hands. Now I gotta get this canut on. There we go. Okay. Now we're making progress. Okay, see this little O-ring guy here? I want to give it a little Permatex so it stays in place. Not a lot, just a little bit. I think that got a little fuzzy on you, sorry. But I'm gonna back you back up here so I can get up in there. Just need to get it just a little tacky so it'll stay in place. Let's try this. Okay, it just didn't feel right when I was trying to slide that in there. Uh, I think we're good now. Just gotta keep putting stuff in here till I run out of bolts. When I run out of bolts, I'm done. She should run. First we'll have to put some fluid in it, I guess. Otherwise we'll just burn it all up and let's start over again. Let's see if we can get this drive shaft in. Use the old turn it till it drops in method. Huh, that worked. Went right in. Dropped one. Oh, that floor's so far away. <laughs> I have to be careful because I have a tendency to forget that these little bolts hold a lot, <clears throat> but they definitely do break easily. Something when I first started working with Jeff, I had a hard time with. <laughs> I got yelled at a couple times. I might have broke a few, but I'm learning. Okay, cool. We'll squirt it up. All right, we're gonna hit this 
We're gonna hit this shaft with some brake clean. And oh, oh, that's it. Cool. All right, so Jeff, Jeff helped me out here, obviously, because he knows what the heck he's doing. Set the shaft in there. Give a little pop with the lead hammer. Good to go. The old lead hammer. It's a pretty cool tool. All right. See if I can get this one without assistance. That was better. I think we're where we need to be. Having some trouble, Jason? Yes, I am. What's up? Uh, can't get the bottom bolt to go in. Uh, lift, the, lift the car up. Oh. Push the... No, other way. Okay, can you lift up a little bit on it too? There you go. Thank you. Yes, sir. So before this car goes out on the road, it needs an oil change, fluids in the diff and the trans. Yeah. And then I kind of want to maybe put some new intercooler clamps on it, but that's also, that's not the end of the world. Now, why don't you have those, um, instead of clamps, T-bolts? What's that? T-bolts? Yeah, that or the V-band. Oh, yeah, that'd be really nice. <laughs> I wish. Oh. It's a budgetary thing? Yeah. Oh. See, these are things I don't know. You know what, what I just remembered? What? I brought my axle sockets from work. Yeah? You did or didn't? I, I did, that's how I got this apart. Oh, yeah. Get what I'm saying? The, you mean the big nuts? Yeah. Yeah. I do recall them being here. Boy, this side went together a lot easier for some odd reason. You are. Probably, oops. I'd have to imagine it's probably going to be easier to get it on there and then get the other stuff in. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, those were the long johnnies that I had to be careful with when I was taking them out. Mm hmm I used the pipe. I wish I had some anti-seeds here, but it's all right. I can't wait to drive this car again, Jason. Yeah, I can't wait to get a ride in it. You never did give me a ride in the car. Well, in my defense, I was tuning. I want it to be like perfect, you know? Whatever, dude. I hear that from everybody. You do. You get gypped a lot on your rides, Every you know that? Every time. That's, I help people out, and I'm like, hey, man, take me for a ride. Give a guy a whole bunch of firewood. All I want is a ride. Didn't Tune I uh, give you a ride in the Civic back in the day? Nope. Never got a ride in that one, but I didn't ask for that. But I did finally get to jump in the rally car, so that was cool. Yeah, yeah, you got to jump in the rally car. Yeah, more than Not many people can say that. Yeah, no, I'm happy about that. I was real excited. And Dusty gave me a ride in that one car he had. Yeah, the RSTI. Oh, that was fast. Yeah. Yeah, still a little dirty down here, but, you know, at least it won't be leaking anymore. So... There's some more stuff we have to do on the car, obviously, like we had said. Um, as far as what we need to do before spring at this point is it's pretty much nothing now. I do want to put some T-bolts on because I have a lot of just like worm drive clamps, especially over here. 
And when I was turning off the boost on EA5, they started to pop off around 25, 26 pounds. I want to get up to around 28 pounds. So again, that's also not that big a deal. I kind of want to change to some different intercooler pipes as well. It's all, you know, budget related, I guess, because I got other stuff that's more pressing. Um, what did you think, Jason? It went pretty smooth. I mean, it's, there's always hiccups, but yeah, we're there. It's back in where it's supposed to be and fluid change, a few other nuts and bolts tightened up and Jeff will be ripping around. I promise, I promise I'll give you a ride this time. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we'll see. But uh, that's actually where we're going to leave this episode. Um, I know it's kind of a short one, but, you know, it's that's the stuff we do. It's just maintenance has got to get done, too, you know. Yep. May not be the most flashy thing, but, hey, you know, you can't have a reliable car if it's always breaking, I think. I don't know. My yeah. stuff always breaks anyway. But <laughs> anyway, if you guys <laughs> like this kind of content, make sure you subscribe, and we'll see you next time.